kiss for you. Welcome to my another video on Android app development and so guys this will be the part 4 of my video series on WhatsApp status downloader using Android Studio. Okay so guys so in this video I will we will be creating the recycler view adapter and we will be creating the class also so let's get started. So before so go to your uh, new package and let's set the package name to adapter then inside our adapter package let's create a new java class and let's name the java class as my adapter okay so here we have this my adapter and we will extend it with recycler view dot adapter and in here we can say my adapter dot file holder all right so first of all we will create the class file holder and we will set it at static class file holder and we will extend it with recycler view dot adapter sorry recycler view dot view holder okay so we will, we will extend it with uh, recycler view dot view holder class and here first of all we will generate the default constructor and after that we will have the all the views which we have defined in our uh, file so here first of all we will have the image view then we will have video view and then we will be having two card view so we can say card view uh, image card view and video card view then we will have two buttons video download and image download all right and in inside our constructor we will initialize the first of all the image view item view dot find view by id r dot id dot image view media then we will have video view video view then we will have image card view card view image then we will have video card view video card view all right so now we have defined all and we have binded all the views inside our class uh, file holder now here you can have okay so let's make it uh, below here and first of all so okay so first of all here we can say that uh, we need to Im implement the abstract method get item count then we will have on create view holder then on bind view holder all right so after that let's create a constructor so we can say public my adapter and in here first of all we will be passing the list array list of type file and the activity as this alright so after that we will have some variables so we can say public final string the directory to save and it will be ws downloader then we will have array list of type 
file and we will name it as file list and then we will have activity so inside our constructor we will say this dot file list equal to file list and this dot activity equal to activity all right and then we will have set has enabled stable ids and we will mark it true okay so inside our get item count method we will be having we will be returning the size of the array list so we can say file list dot size okay then inside our own create view folder so now here we will be required the we will need to uh, inflate the layout so for that we can say view v equals to layout inflated dot from and we can say parent dot get context and dot we can say dot inflate r dot layout dot cycler row item then we will have parent and the last one will be false okay and then finally we will be instead of returning null we can say new file folder and here we will pass the view object okay so now we just need to click uh, work on our own bind view folder method so for that first of all we will uh, say file current file and it will be equal to file dot get position okay so that one will be the current file at a given index so after that we can say folder okay so here we forgot to add the buttons also so we can say video download equals to button item view dot find view by id r dot id dot button uh, video download button then for our image download we will have item view dot find view by view by id r dot id dot button download image okay so here we can say holder dot image download dot set on click listener and inside that we can pass this dot download media item and we will be passing the current file okay so we will be creating the download media item method in our next part we will okay so let's comment it down and instead of now it will not have any error so instead of secular adapter we can say my adapter and then we can pass main activity dot this okay so it will not cause any error so now in our my adapter okay so after that we can have okay here same we will be doing for our video download button so we can say dot video download dot set on click listener this dot download media item and we will be passing the current file okay so here we will also comment it down comment down and then we can now check if the current file dot get absolute path dot ends with okay so if it ends with dot mp4 so here we can say holder dot image card view dot set visibility and it will be gone and we can say holder dot video card view dot set visibility and view we will be visible
visible we will visible it then we need to find the uri so for that we can say uri video uri equals to uri dot parse and here we can say current file dot get absolute path okay so here we now have the uri of the video so we can easily play the video so for that we can say holder dot video view dot set video uri and here we can pass the video uri here and then we can also say holder dot video view dot set on prepared listener new media player dot on prepared listener and now inside our own prepared method we are first of all going to use dot looping if loop set looping mp dot set looping and set it to true then we have holder dot video view dot dot all right but now this is for our uh, video files which end with mp4 now we can also hear so inside and as part so now what we will be doing is we can say bitmap equals to bitmap factory dot decode file and here we can pass the current file dot get absolute path okay so we will be decoding the file and then we will be setting it to our image view so for that we can say holder dot image view dot set image bitmap and we will pass the bitmap object here okay so now let me confirm it again yes all right so now uh, i guess that's it for this part of the video okay so if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye